Good evening, everyone. Oh, come on, we can do better than that. Good evening. That's a little better, that'll work. Welcome to our 54th Annual Green and White Awards. As our academic year winds down, our Green and White Awards program serves as a celebration of the year that was in Delta State Statesmen and Lady Statesmen Athletics. From team championships and individual all-conference awards to tough losses, hard practices, and electric wins in front of home crowds, each of you sitting at the table helps make Delta State Athletics special. Your efforts in the classroom, on the field, on the course, in the pool, or wherever it is on campus are what we highlight and celebrate tonight. I'd first like to welcome to the stage Delta State University President William LaForge, who would like to make a few introductory remarks this evening. Good evening and welcome to everyone. Thank you, Cody, for getting us started here. Uh, what a great group, what a great looking group. And uh, as one who loves athletics across the board, tries to visit with you all from time to time throughout the year and come to your events, uh, I'm in awe of what you all do uh, as students and as athletes. And I want you to know how appreciative the Delta State family is of what you all do, the contributions you make to this university and to the educational nature of what we're doing here as well as the sport uh, in which you participate. I've said this before, some of you have heard it, I so enjoy saying it, I'm gonna say it one more time, because I think it's so true. That is, I hope that none of you, none of you ever forget how special it is, how cool it is to play your sport at the collegiate level. It is really an important thing, and I, when you reflect back on the experiences you've had, leadership opportunities, building a team, winning and losing, all the things that come with any athletic endeavor, uh, these are life lessons. And I know that may sound a little nerdy, but the coaches that work with you and our wonderful staff uh, believe in that very much. And we all really do today are an athletic family. And I appreciate all that you do. We welcome you tonight, and I particularly want to congratulate all of our award winners tonight, collectively. We'll see some of you afterward, perhaps with pictures, that sort of thing. But I hope you enjoy tonight and know that Delta State appreciates and loves you and celebrates your great accomplishments throughout the year. Welcome tonight. Thank you so much, Mr. President. Our next order of business is to recognize our graduating seniors. And to do that, we welcome up to the stage Delta State Athletic Director, Mike Kennison. Thank you. This is uh, my opportunity to welcome you and congratulate you on all the great accomplishments we've had this year. In some cases, it's been just super years. In some cases, we uh, maybe fell a little bit short, but as collectively, uh, I'm really proud of this group, and I want you to know that. I want you to know that uh, you've been a player here. I'm very proud to say I played here, to have coached here. I'm very proud to say that I coached here. And I'm certainly proud to be the athletic director here and get to interact and work for you every day. So just know that you are the reason that we're here, and I hope you will feel some of that uh, at some point. Many of you will feel that pride right now. I look back and I think about there's a lot of things that I didn't see when I was playing that I began to see when I was coaching. There's a lot of things that I see as an athletic director from that viewpoint that I didn't see when I was coaching. Uh, whenever it happens for you, I hope that you will uh, always love this university and be proud of the school that you represented and be proud of the uniform that you have worn. Uh, you know, as graduating seniors, that is really what we always say is the highest honor you can achieve here at Delta State. That is why we're here. And we know as athletes that we put in a tremendous amount of time. Uh, it is a grind. It is work. And not a lot of people outside of maybe your parents or grandparents or coaches or people who work in our department really know the effort and the commitment that you make. And, uh, you know, 
that's, that's who we are. That's what we do in athletics. We don't really expect other people to always understand it. We don't always expect them to know how much time and effort we put in. That's our deal. That's, that's what we cherish, and that's why we are here doing what we do. But when you do it over the course of four years, five years, whatever it takes to complete your degree, it's pretty special to look back down the road and to think about uh, collecting that degree. And regardless of whether that is something that you achieved in December at the end of the first semester or upcoming at the end of this spring semester, just know we're very proud of you and know that that's something that uh, is the culmination of a great career here at Delta State. What I'd like to do is just call the names of our graduating seniors and ask you to just stand where you are. And we'll wait until that whole group has been recognized before we congratulate them and give them a round of applause. And then at the end of the program tonight, that's when we actually want you to come back up here and we will give you your senior collage. That's the treasured gift that we all hold dear to you that captured so much of our history and our tradition and proud moments. But we'll bring you back up at the very end of this program, just as soon as it's over, for you to be presented your collage and have your picture taken here in front of President Ford tonight. Um, the reason we do that, of course, is because we don't want you to take that back to your table and spill a drink on it or somebody accidentally sit on it or something like that. So we're just going to hold it until the very end and then you'll be able to put it in your hand and, and uh, take care of it. Okay, so again, as I call your name, if you will just stand where you are and then we'll hold our applause until the very end. Uh, statesmen and ladies, statesmen, student athletes graduating in summer of 2021, fall of 2021, or spring of 2022. And again, I'll call some names and some aren't here, but that's our way of recognizing. We know some of these graduated in the fall and they're not here, but that's our way of recognizing. Michael Allen, Sam Barge, Gavin Blackshear, Juan Blankenship, Jonathan Boyd, Cone Rockaball, Aaron Brooks, Julio Brugnoni, Cooper Broom, Olivia Burns, Madeline Bird, Warren Bird, Landon Carner, DeAndre Champagne, T.J. Children, Jacob Cottrell, John, John Crawford Counts, Charles Darnold, Cameron Davis, Kay Dees, Jared Ehrman, Zaire Ewing, William Evans, Tyrell Goldsmith, Jacob Gregg, Kevin Granger, William Hammond, Caitlin Heyman, T.K. Hicks, Amanda Hilliard, Adrian Hill, Benjamin Kelly, Matisse Clopper, Madison LaVoy, Emil Leteri, Jennifer Lopez, Elena, Elena Markaroba, Shia Martelli, Brisa Maxwell, Zamari Minner, Damon Moore, Will Myers, Christian Oaks, Peyton Osborne, Bianca Osario, Rico Owens, Tori Pettit, Gillian Pratt, Wyatt Pratt, Chad Raglan, Savio Raganese, Sydney Roberts, Caleb Robinson, Connor Shearer, Jackson Rutledge, Patrick Shegog, Josh Smeltzer, Elena Smith, Matthew Sneed, Savarez Snow, Hugo Strapiano, Andrew Swatzel, Stanley Talley, Marvin Terry, Tom Tolson, John Valesco, Mason Weiss, Hayden White, 
Anna Whitehead, Jalen Wilson, and Landon Zisman. I'm sure I wasn't perfect on some of those names, so uh, extend me a little bit of grace there. But certainly proud of all of you, and congratulations on your graduation honor. Let's give them a hand. our individual sports awards with our respective athletic programs. Uh, we ask that each student athlete receiving an award comes up, receives their award, remains by the photo backdrop so that we can take a photo of you and then we can put it on Facebook and your moms can be very happy with us. So make sure you do that to complete receiving your awards, that process. First up is Delta State men's swimming and diving and head coach Daniel Murray. great to have this event back. I know it's been several years since we've uh, been able to get together, but it's great getting all the sports together and you guys get the proper recognition you all deserve. Um, I'm going to have our men's team stand up, and in the meantime, I'm going to have Carson, Federico, and Didi come on up. Men's team stand up so y'all can be recognized. <laughs> Definitely want to thank our coaching staff, uh, Coach Antonio, Nate, Julia, and Kyle. Without y'all's help, we wouldn't be able to pull off this season on a day-to-day -day basis. Definitely want to thank our athletic trainers, uh, keeping us healthy and safe. And strength and conditioning, Coach K. Ron, your staff been fantastic under difficult conditions for not just season, but multiple seasons, and it's greatly appreciated. Definitely want to give a special, special thanks to Coach Kennison. Caitlin, Abby, Fred, Dana, Barkley. Uh, without all y'all's help and guidance, we wouldn't be able to pull off you know, a successful season every single year. Special thanks to Sports Information Department, Kyle Partridge, Phil Tang, and Cody. Extra special thanks to Coach Myers, being a, a constant presence at every one of our events. Huge help. We would not be able to pull off what we do every day. And I can tell you our team enjoys swimming in your facility every day and representing you. Um, lastly, I want to thank President Forge, constant presence at every one of our home meets and competitions, prelims, finals. It's greatly appreciated. And I, I find it hard to believe there's a president in the country that's jumped in the pool as many times as you have to celebrate our victory. So thank you very much. Uh, I know we're splitting up men's and women's teams, uh, recognitions this year. Um, for the men's side, uh, we were able to sweep both OVU and Henderson for the ninth time, uh, ninth year in a row. At the conference championships, our men's team has won uh, five years in a row the team title, and we're very proud of that. At the NCAA championships, the men were 13th place. Uh, wasn't our best finish, uh, wasn't our worst finish, but we'll definitely be able to improve on that in future years. Uh, the awards we're giving out tonight are going to be our academic awards and our MVPs. Um, our Charlie Craddock Academic Award must have completed at least the minimum of two semesters to be recognized. Uh, this student athlete's a biochemistry major. He's a junior. Uh, he's been on the academic uh, all-conference numerous years for the third year in a row. He's an NCAA academic All-American. He qualified for NCAAs this past year in multiple events. Underfly, two fly, and two IM. And this award goes to Carson Trailer. Next award is our most valuable diver award. Uh, during the season, uh, this athlete had 12 dual meet wins, and in some competitions, he was the only athlete getting the win, uh, which we desperately needed. Uh, at the Christmas invite, he won both the one meter and three meter, and was also the diver of the meet. Uh, at the conference championships, he was just named conference athlete of the year for diving, and was also the diver of the meet. At the NCAA championships, he placed eighth on one meter, ninth on three meter, uh, and scored a total of 20 individual points. That's the third best performance of any diver in Delta State history. He's a three-time NCAA All-American, and this award goes to Juwan D.D. Blankenship.
last award is our most valuable uh, swimmer award. Uh, this athlete won the 100 fly and 200 fly conference this past season, uh, was a team captain. Uh, he was our conference athlete of the year and also just received uh, this week our conference athlete uh, of the overall season after NCAA championships. Currently owns multiple team records and conference records. He's a six time conference champion, seven time first team All American. Individually, the national championships, he finished third place in the center fly, setting a new lifetime best, and had a career total of 56 points, which is 10th all time for our program. This award goes to Federico Bracco. For team captains next year, it'll be Carson, Tucker, and Dee Thank you, Daniel. Appreciate it. Next, we're going to call to the stage our Lady Statesman softball team and head coach Casey Burgoyne Charles. Thank you, Coach. Next, we're going to bring up Trey Seymour and Megs Dennis. Kept 
can't get an after, so for that, I appreciate y'all very much. Uh, replacing our three seniors this year is not going to be easy. They are a pivotal point for this team's success over the last few years that we've had here. Um, but we're not done yet. We leave in the morning to head to our conference tournament where they earned the number three seed. So we still have work, work to do and uh, goals to achieve. So we will definitely be getting that. Uh, so the one award that I'll be presenting is our MVP. Uh, award. This award goes to uh, a guy who last year received an All-American status at the end of the year. Uh, this guy plays number one for us, uh, match in, match out, which is rough, rough sledding, especially in our tough conference. Um, but he, he never complains, he keeps working at it, and uh, he wins most of the time. <laughs> so uh, my MVP this year is uh, to a military. Thank you, Coach. Next, we're going to move on to Delta State cheerleading and head coach Mary Evans. recognize my graduating seniors. Um, it's going to be hard to leave them. Don't know what I'm going to do without them. <laughs> um, that's Sarah Elizabeth Hardy, Mary Margaret Wheat, Ashley King, Elijah Daniels, and um, Katie Edwards. On to my awards. This first award is my most improved award, and it goes to a young lady that's really stepped up her stunning game this year. I'm not quite sure if she wanted to show me that she was going to stay on the ground or, or what, but I'm in, I've been impressed with her all year. Anytime I've asked her to do something, she said, are you sure? But she got the job done, and that award goes to Christy Lindsay. Anybody on my team this year, um, she's one you can count on. She brings the craziness when you need it. She brings the laughter. She brings the effort. She brings the determination. Um, she's had full faith in her son group to get any task accomplished, and most of the time they did it. If they were all on the ground by the end of it, they still got it done. Um, it's not going to be the same without these two ladies next year, but my leadership award goes to Sarah Sarah Lizzie Party. Team awards, and for that, we will bring up head coach Mike Meenan. Thank you, 
Thank you. Uh, we have our men's team stand up and be recognized. I did want to say that uh, while the guys were standing, we still have a long way to go from where we want to be, but I think we're, we're making good progress. Uh, the one thing, probably our best accomplishment, and before that too, I want to say thanks to all of you athletes because the best wins we've had in this building, you guys have played a big part. Those bleachers across the way there, you know, the student support, I think, has really been good throughout my time here. Uh, it's just, you know, it, it makes a difference, and you guys have made a difference helping us win some of those games. And there were three teams in the Gulf South Conference this year that made the NCAA tournament. We were the only one that beat all three. So, again, not where we want to be, but the fact is we know in our heart that we're there. We're, we're we're right there, and we have a good nucleus coming back. So, looking forward to continue working with these guys. Uh, the individual awards that we have. Um, the uh, let me get my wire straight here. The one award is for the assist, our assist leader, um, Malik Carfight. It's kind of unusual for a big guy to lead your team in assist, but. Uh, Malik has done that and kind of been forced to do that because teams across the league double team and triple team him virtually every time he touches the ball. Uh, Malik had a two to one assist to turnover ratio, which one of the things in our scouting reports, we always focus on big guys, how often they turn the ball over when we trap them. And Malik is a rare big guy that has a way of delivering the ball where it needs to go, getting it to his teammates and Thus, he, he is one of the leaders in the conference and assist, and that's the, the award for our, our assist leader, Malik. <laughs> and then the, uh, the second award, the second award is our most valuable player. Aaron Brooks has, has been a solid performer for us for three years now. Um, you know, he, as the first year here, coming out of junior college, he, he averaged a double-double, rebounding in points per game, uh, put up some of the best numbers in the Gulf South. He's been one of the top rebounders in the Gulf South Conference for three years. Uh, this past year, he was in the top ten in rebounding. He's our leader in scoring and rebounds, and was also 80% from the foul line. So. Aaron has, has put up really good numbers for us, and he is definitely going to be missed. Aaron? Thank you, Coach. Appreciate that. Next sport that we are going to bring up, Delta State football. And with that, we'll welcome to the stage head coach, Todd Cooley. How's everybody doing? Great. Coach Samuel, where you at? I need you to come up and do something for me. Guys, we haven't done enough of this lately, so I'd like y'all to all stand up, please. And uh, we're going to go ahead and start practicing. I know some of you guys are new and don't know the words. Uh, I know everybody's being recognized, but we're going to give them rehearsal. As Coach Kennison and President of Forge, we're going to be singing this a lot this fall. So let's hit this fight song and get this party going in my life. Ever to our never stay in our glory. We sing our praises loud and tell our story. Y'all 
Y'all congratulate, congratulate Zayn. He just graduated with his master's this fall. We're really proud of A lot of our guys are gone that are getting awards. Uh, we've got four awards that have historically been really good. I gotta grab my phone real quick and look through a couple things, but one guy I do need to bring up is Parker Burleson. Uh, the first award is the Sam Ray Special Teams Award. This goes to the most outstanding player in special teams. Parker uh, led our conference in punts inside the 20. I think he had 11 or 17, I can't remember, the touchbacks this year. Uh, second team all GSC, special teams award goes to Parker Burleson. <laughs> the, the Russ Harden Award goes to a transfer football player from Mississippi Junior College uh, who plays really, really well. That award went to Dion Dampier who led us in rushing last year. Give it a beat Montario James Defensive Back Award uh, went to a young man who was also a transfer, who was not here tonight, uh, who led the Gulf South Conference in interceptions, Sherrod Page. And the Freddie Black Memorial Award winner, which basically goes to our most valuable player, goes to a guy uh, who had 51 solo tackles, uh, 10 tackles for loss, five sacks, Marvin Terry. Appreciate y'all. Thank you, Coach, appreciate it. Next in our line of uh, individual and team awards, we will bring up Delta State Cross Country and head coach, Brittany Smith.
Thank you, Dan. Congratulations to Women's Soccer. We'll resume handing out our individual sports hardware, and with that, we'll call up to the stage Mark Hiller and the Lady Statesman Soccer. Um, ladies, we can give you space standing. Um, we can recognize, yeah, women's soccer team. Okay, so I'll, I'll try and speak slowly so people can actually understand me. But um, yeah, us as a team had a fantastic season. Um, started off pretty slow. Um, didn't do well in the first four games, but after that, um, yeah, went from strength to strength um, and, yeah, ranked in the region, um, ended up with our highest ever finishing conference, most conference wins um, in program history, so hopefully um, the team shares my goals um, and where I think we can be next year. Um, I really hope and, and believe that, that we can compete to win the conference championship. Um, our MVP. Um, goes to Kara Email. Okay. Um, um, Kara's been a fantastic leader for, for this team, um, really grown over the last year. Um, she's someone who always brings fantastic work ethic. Um, she's improved a lot, kind of dominates midfield. Um, her running stats are pretty tremendous. Um, probably going to embarrass her here, but she's already getting professional looks for after college as well. Um, many teams in Europe um, have been reaching out about her, so um, congratulations, Kara, our MVP. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate it. We'll now continue with men's soccer and head coach Andy Robertson. Had to 
you know, deal with the new coach coming in, changing some things in the program, but overall it's been uh, great for us. Um, I can't thank the athletic staff enough for helping me out with all the bumps and learning curves that I've had to go through. Um, we're still going. We leave next week to go compete in the regional championship. The guys are the eighth seed to the region, so hoping to uh, have a strong performance there and keep our season going in the national championship. Um, over the course of this year, Landon has been um, our solid leader. Um, he's played in great in many tournaments. Um, close to, come close to winning in quite a few of them, but um, we're still looking for that first one in the region, right? So, uh, but other than that, we've had a great year. Um, keep watching. We've got a lot more left going into the national championship. So, thank you. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate it. We will now invite back to the stage Trey Seymour to present his award for women's tennis. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate it. Next, we will bring up Delta State Baseball and head coach Rodney Bax. Ferris wanted, uh, 
as far as competition and sportsmanship that he exemplified throughout his coaching year, uh, Chad Ragnar. <laughs> and these awards are voted on by our players, probably like all the others, but these are voted on by our players, voted on by their peers. And I will say this, all these awards, these three were given out, or two were given out tonight, they were within one vote. So we had several guys who were nominated and voted and could have went several different ways. Uh, the top, you know, uh, the Randy Makepson Freshman Award. Uh, that can go to a true freshman, it can go to a red shirt freshman, uh, but this year that goes to Gabe Stockton. <laughs> and our last award we'll get tonight is the Stewart Service Award. Uh, that's a coach's award. And this was a lot of discussion on our part. It's, we could have went a lot of different ways with this, and we feel that strong about our whole team and the character and the work ethic our guys have, the dedication they put in. Uh, but this year, they go to Landon Sisman. I want to thank my coaches, uh, Coach David Steed, Andy Rinker, uh, Joey Cooper, Clayton Wolf. Two GAs couldn't do this without you guys. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate that. Rounding out our individual sport awards for the night, we will welcome back head coach Daniel Murray for Lady Statesman Swimming and Diving.
last season. This award goes to Celeste Hearn. for next year, I almost forgot. Uh, Bella Kelly, Megan Black, Martino Rossetti. Thank you so much, Dan, I appreciate it. It's now time to recognize our all newcomer team. This team is made up of one student athlete, a freshman or transfer from each sport. From this group, a female newcomer of the year and a male newcomer of the year are selected. When I call your name, please come forward to receive your award and also remain standing over here for a group photo afterwards. Baseball newcomer, Hayden Cooper. Our men's basketball newcomer, Casey Walker Gray. <laughs> Cheerleading newcomer, newcomer, excuse me, Kadasha Bryant. In women's cross country, Anna Clark. <laughs> In men's golf, Kyle DiCenzo. In men's soccer, Brandon Rogers. In softball, Chrissy Tubbs. In men's swimming and diving, Bert O'School. In women's swimming and diving, Jamie Glover. In men's tennis, Jordan Hayes. And in women's tennis, Adriana Subias. Now time for our Newcomers of the Year. Your 2021-2022 Female Newcomer of the Year from the women's soccer team, the sixth leading goal scorer this year in the Gulf South Conference, Jalasia Julian. <laughs> Thank you. 
2021, 2022 Male Newcomer of the Year from the Delta State football team, Delta State's leading receiver, Dante Myers. Please give a round of applause to all of our newcomers, including our newcomers of the year, Jalaisa Jordan and Dante Myers. Every year, student athletes at Delta State rack up a plethora of individual and team accolades. A long list of those include Marvin Terry earning first team all GSC honors and the GSC Defensive Player of the Year. Hold your applause till the end. Uh, I should have told you that. That's well done, Six. Appreciate it. Marvin Terry was also an AHCA first team All American, named to the D2 Football Elite 100, and was a Ceasefire Connerly Trophy finalist. Football's Dante Williams. Tim Williams Jr. and Ennis Claude were selected first team all GSC. Junior Falk, Dion Dampier, Keyshawn Jennings, Nick Melsa, and Parker Burleson were all named second team all Gulf South Conference. Claude, Dampier, Ty Woods, Melsa, Rico Owens, Dante Williams, Burleson, Zane Samuel from football, and men's soccer player Remy Ameriu all earned GSC All Academic Team nods. The Delta State women's soccer team secured its most Gulf South Conference wins at eight in school history, appeared in the region rankings, and also hosted the school's first ever GSC quarterfinal tournament game at home. Nicola Hout, Jennifer Lopez and Rainey Niles from women's soccer all earned second team all GSC honors. 97 student athletes earned fall academic honor roll recognition and seven different student athletes earned winter academic honor roll recognition. Delta State men's swimming and diving team, as Daniel alluded to, secured its fifth consecutive NSISC title and the Delta State women's swimming and diving team finished as the NSISC runner-up. Federico Bracco from the men's swim team was named the conference swimmer of the meet, and Jawan Blankenship from the men's team earned NSISC diver of the meet. Bracco, Emmanuel Fava, Jawan Blankenship, Celeste Turner, and Lucia Martelli also earned NCAA All-American honors at the national meet. Kyle Friesenhan was named Men's Diving Coach of the Year in the conference, and Daniel Murray was named Co-Women's Coach of the Year as well. Men's basketball forward Malik Cartwright was a second team All-GSC selection, and women's basketball forward Zaire Ewing was named second team all GSC as well. The women's basketball team also made the program's 26th GSC semifinals appearance in school history. Men's golfer Landon Carner earned second team all GSC honors, and the Delta State golf team, as George alluded to, earned the number eight seed in the NCAA South Southeast Regional coming up on May the 5th through May the 7th. The Delta State men's tennis team also finished the GSC regular season as the number three seed going into their conference tournament, which starts in two days from now. They'll leave tomorrow. Also, 
with the baseball and softball seasons not quite done yet, but baseball head coach Rodney Bax earned his 200th career collegiate victory in a 6-4 win at home against Mississippi College. Let's hear a round of applause for all of those special recognitions. Congratulations to all of you. We're now going to invite up Delta State Athletic Director Mike Kinnison, and he will present this year's Athletic Director Individual and Team Hall of Fame recipients. Before I present those awards, there's a few more people I'd just like to make sure I thank tonight for helping put this on and their contribution to our athletic program. First of all, the athletic staff, you know, the people I work with every day, thanks for the group effort to uh, pull all this together, particularly Dana, Cody, Philip, all of you guys, and Fred, Barkley, Abby, and Holbrook. Uh, thanks for, as I said, all of you taking part in making this happen. I want to thank Ronnie Myers for being here tonight and uh, all he continues to do for us as Emeritus Head Swim Coach, Emeritus Athletic Director, and just supporting our athletic program and supporting each of you athletes. I want to thank Casey over here for uh, what she's done all year long, and uh, not just that you've done it, but you did it so well with such a great spirit. She's been on that sideline and on the fields and in the pool deck and taking all those pictures that publicize all of you. And uh, as I said, she just does it so very well. There's two groups here that touch all of you athletes. And that's not something that all of us can say. You know, your coaches coach your team and they are integral to you and your success. But there's two other groups here that are so important to every one of you. And they're important to me because of what I just mentioned way that they touch every athlete in this program. First of all, our strength and conditioning staff, Kevin and his group, and our athletic training staff, Abby and all of your assistants, thank you for that. It's not a thankless job. We do appreciate it, but I know sometimes it's the athletes that get the glory and y'all are behind the scenes propping them up, and uh, we really appreciate that. So for all those I mentioned, just give them a hand. The Athletic Directors Hall of Fame is an academic honor that we give to the individuals and the teams that have the highest grade point average, generally speaking. We recognize them in our Hall of Fame room permanently with plaques and recognitions in our athletic building. And first of all, uh, the Men's and Women's Individual Athletic Directors Hall of Fame. It's given to the student athlete with the highest institutional grade point average over a minimum of 48 hours. This year for the, for the women, <clears throat> it's a women's soccer player who had a 4.0 institutional GPA with 130 hours earned, graphics design major with a marketing minor, Lucia, Lucia Chacon. <clears throat> and our men's athletic directors Hall of Fame winner, Goes to a football player from Huntsville, Alabama who has a 4.0 institutional GPA with 109 hours earned. A general biology major with uh, an exercise science minor, Andrew Swatson. not just having 4.0, that's not quite good enough. You've got to be uh, able to break some, win some tiebreaker categories as well. And then the team honors, the Athletic Directors Hall of Fame team honors is given to the men's and women's team with the highest cumulative GPA for the year. 
The women's honor goes to our women's soccer team. The 3.64 GPA institutional through the fall of 2021. Would you please just rise where you are and just congratulate you. Women's soccer team. Athletic Director's men's team with the highest GPA for the fall of 2021 goes to men's tennis. Congratulations, y'all. It's now time to give out our Statesman and Ladies Statesman Awards, given to the top student athlete in each of our sports. Each recipient exemplifies the character traits synonymous with being a Statesman or a Lady Statesman. From the baseball team, Hayden White. Please come up and get your award and then remain standing by the backdrop to get your photo taken. From our men's basketball team, Zamari Minter. <laughs> From our cheerleading team, Elijah Daniels. From our women's cross country team, Abby Thomas. From our football team, Dante Williams. From our men's golf team, Landon Control. From our men's soccer team, Andre Marquesic. From our women's soccer team, Robin Moody. <laughs> From the softball team, Kaylin Lofton. From our men's swimming and diving team, Ben Kelly. <laughs> From our women's swimming and diving team, Peyton Osborne. <laughs> From our men's tennis team, Hugo Stropiano. And 
from our women's tennis team, Lavinia Hornig. Please, please give a big round of applause to all of our statesmen and lady statesmen award winners. Congratulations again, y'all. And, and now the moment you've all been waiting for. The Charles S. Kerr Senior Student Athlete of the Year Award was established by former head coach and athletic director Horace McCool, named for the former sports editor at the Delta Democrat Times, Charles S. Kerr. At a time when very few media outlets covered Delta State athletics, Charles Kerr followed Delta State religiously, always making sure that statesmen and lady statesmen student athletes and their programs received the coverage that they deserved. When the award was established, Coach McCool's intent was to, was to see that the award went to an all-around student athlete not only one who excelled on the field, but also in the classroom and in the community. <coughs> one of the most influential supporters in the history of our Delta State Athletics program, Charles Kurt's dedication serves to this day not only as an inspiration, but also a model for how dedicated we can be to our program, to our community, and Delta State as a whole. Our female lady statesman, Charles S. Kerr Award winner. A nutrition and dietetics major with a minor in coaching, this person has been a four-year member of the lady statesman softball team. A two-time lady statesman award winner, she was also the recipient of the Dickey Taylor Memorial Scholarship. She has been a top 10 finalist for the Gulf South Conference Commissioner's Trophy has appeared in 206 games and started 203 in her career. She posts a 278 career batting average to this point with 153 hits, 77 RBIs, and 341 assists as an everyday middle infielder. Her 38 career doubles rank eighth best all time in DSU history. Not only on the field excelling, this person has been named to the Dean's List, the President's List, is a member of the National Society of Leadership and Success, and also served as the Treasurer of the Student Dietetics Association from Fall 2021 through Spring 2022. Your 2021, 2022, Charles S. Kerr Female Student Athlete of the Year Award goes to Delta State Softballs Kaylin And now to award the award on the men's side. With a 
undergraduate, G or excuse me, graduate GPA and a 3.34 GPA as well. This baseball player has played in 169 games, making 159 starts. On the field, this person has posted a 316 batting average with 194 hits, 41 doubles, 8 triples, 42 home runs, and 163 RBIs. His 42 career home runs rank third all-time at Delta State and our 10th all-time in the Gulf South Conference. He has 163 career RBIs and still going 11th best at DSU. And his total bases mark is also 11th best all-time with still what we hope is a handful of games to play. A 2019 and 21 GSC first team all so first team all GSC selection. He was also a D2 CCA 2021 first team All American. He was a 2021 NCBWA All South Region Award first teamer, and also in 2020 was named to the College Baseball News Newspaper All American team and earned an All South Region honor that year as well. He's been a second team and third team All-American and has been on multiple occasions both the GSC and NCBWA South Region Player of the Week in his career. He's an all-academic selection, a multi-time GSC Spring Academic Honor Roll person, been a participant in the Student Athlete Advisory Committee Trunk or Treat for Bolivar County in all of his years at Delta State has served as a volunteer fan usher at home football games, volunteered for the D2 partnership with the Salvation Army, and has also raised funds for the Student Athlete Advisory Committee Make-A-Wish Philanthropy Projects. Your 2021-2022 Mayo Charles S. Kerr Award winner is Jake Barber. Let's please give another big congratulations to our Charles S. Kirk Award winners, Taylor Lawson and Kate Barber. <laughs> to help close out our evening, I'd like to welcome up Will Myers, our Student Athlete Advisory Committee Chair, to make some closing remarks. Tonight, you exit through the lobby and grab a special treat at the concession stand on your way out. Lastly, I want to make sure we thank everyone that had a hand in making tonight possible. Everyone in this room, the coaches have pointed out. Um, hold on, guys. Hold on. I know. I'm ready to. Just a couple of seconds. In addition to everyone in this room that's been thanked, we'd like to thank Daylight Donuts, 
Mississippi Grounds and Yoetti's Barbecue, Cleveland Trophy, Delta Party Rental, and Delta State Facilities Management. Please join me in a big round of applause for those individuals who helped out. It's almost your cue back there, fellas. I got you right here. Thank you all so much. We appreciate it. We enjoy your success. I'm Cody Clark saying goodnight and go Statesman.